many 11-year-olds, practicing piano is at once a treat and a chore. For Peter, it's no different. When he's not playing the piano, you might also find him reading a book, High five. playing with his dog Pepsi, or glued to his favorite computer game. Age of Empire 3. That's very, very fun. On the surface, Peter is a typical kid. But when you dig a bit deeper, you learn about his heartbreaking past. There was three boys and three girl, girls. So, yeah, shut us. I don't know really, really why, but yes, that's, that's what happened. On a rural road in April of 1997, six Kentucky teenagers opened fire on the Lillilid family, killing Dad Vidar, Mom Delfina, and big sister Tabitha. Two-year-old Peter survived, losing an eye and most of his ability to walk. Not only one person was dead, but three persons <laughs> and one seriously hurt. Rondi and Ode Hayer, Peter's aunt and uncle, met the little boy for the first time in the hospital. He was in the bed with all his instruments attached everywhere. <laughs> so that was the first time I saw Peter. Yeah, I want to give him a, a, a life, <laughs> to give him a new family. Ten years ago, Rondi and Ode moved Peter here to Sweden. They put distance and now time between Peter and his family's tragedy. But of course, they never forgot about it. It's not uh, maybe in the front line <laughs> anymore. But of course, it's always uh, in my mind. And you think about it maybe every day, but uh, maybe not in the same way as... as uh, as I did when it happened. For the Hayers, their pain was evident. For Peter, it was unspoken, but still there. Yeah, he, he had memories. I mean, you have memories uh, about uh, sounds and, uh, and smells, maybe, and uh, different memories you can put word on them. To help him cope, the Hayers put together a book of photos for Peter, telling his life story. His parents are there, his big sister too, all leading to his new family and new life. Today, Peter is a happy child, learning English, a language he still struggles with, in his neighborhood school. There, his classmates know him and his past. The questions have long been answered, his injuries already explained. No, it doesn't bother him so much. He's used it. Yeah, he's uh, full of life. And quite uh, good humor most of the time. And it's this attitude, this life, this happy, well-adjusted boy who the Hayers want you to know and remember. Yeah, I hope he'll, he can just keep on growing up and, and be able to deal uh, with everything on his own and have a good life. And as for the bad memories they do have, they're not tied to the people of East Tennessee. I would say that 95% of all the people I met was very friendly and very helpful. So I have just good memories. There was a lot of helpful people in Knoxville. I want them to know that we really appreciate that and that we really are thankful. And I've I'm still thinking about all these different people every day. Even for Peter, the young boy at the heart of an unthinkable tragedy, there is always hope. What, what do you think of America? Does it give you bad feelings when you think about it? No. No? No. That's a good... Oh, that's a good country, I guess. So you would want to go back and maybe visit someday again? Yes, yes.